you're on a five game losing mm-hmm. streak, how does that feel right now going into Monday and having not a lot of time off now to get into this? Well, Monday feels a lot better than yesterday. Um, yeah, we got to practice what we preach. You know, as a coaching staff, it's midnight rule, and we move on to a new week. We're 0-0. Um, there's got to be a lot of reflection on last week in terms of what we're not doing right, what we need to do better, what we need to do more consistently, and, and that's that's kind of where we are. It just It's just been really inconsistent. You know, one day we hit, one day we pitch, one day we defend, one day we don't. So it's just up and down, and that's, you know, if you don't play – Division one baseball in all three phases, it's really hard to beat the teams that we played. I've shared that before, and our team knows that. Like, hey, if we don't play well against Air Force, there's a good chance you're going to lose. If you don't play well against Sam, there's a good chance you're going to lose. So, um, you know, we're learning that right now. We're staring it right in the face, and we'll accept it and um, lean into it. And that's kind of the challenge to our guys right now. You know, we've, we, I think, I feel like we've got really good systems in place here. We've talked about that before uh, for moments like this. And, um, you know, we're either in the middle of the storm or at the end of the storm, but the only option is to keep working and, and, and play out of it right now. So we've got another opportunity tomorrow night with UTA, and uh, our bye weekend's probably coming at a good week. We've got Fresno this weekend. Uh, our guys are a little beat up. You know, we played a lot of games in a short dur- duration of time and playing tomorrow. Then we've got a Thursday, Friday, Saturday with Easter coming up, and then we don't play. Our, our next WAC game's in 11 days. Um, so we've got some time to kind of reevaluate and, and really reassess and hopefully just simplify to where baseball can become really, really complex sometimes. But at the end of the day, it's who throws strikes, who can get off the field the quickest. And unfortunately, we're not basketball or football. When, when you get down, you've got to get 27 outs. And there's no clock expiring. It's not going to speed up. You've got to finish the game. And sometimes that doesn't feel real good. Um, but you've got to own it and move forward. So we'll accept it and move on. And there's some things we can address, and uh, I think if we utilize the next 11 days properly and the right way, then we've got an opportunity to finish the year strong. Like that, that's not changing. That's not going to waver. So um, time will tell on that. But I'm excited to, to take a break and debrief a little bit from the WAC and set ourselves up for, for a really good second half run. Do you have any comment on Saturday at all about? What part? <laughs> um, you know, you in the third inning, um, oh, the ejection, yeah, I'll probably not uh, say much on that. I guess the one thing I'll say is after emailing our umpire coordinator that I was in the right, um, but that didn't change it. That had no, you know, obviously we would have been off the field, uh, wouldn't have had to make a pitch and change, um, five more runs wouldn't have been on the scoreboard, but that's not the reason we lost for sure. So, um, yeah, I mean, I was, that's just one of those things in our sport. Sometimes they go your way, sometimes they don't. And that one didn't, and uh, we got to be able to play through it, and coach through it, and all those things. So, um, no, you wish it, you wish it would have been called right and moved on, but it wasn't. And at the end of the day, that's just part of it. So did I. <laughs> yep. So did I. I absolutely um, did. Um, okay. So done with the weekend now. Mm-hmm. UT Arlington, kind of what I told Coach Farley, you know, it's going to be a future whack foe. Mm-hmm. You've already played them once at Arlington. Talked about how great it's mm. going to have um, a lot of Dallas people around mm. to watch alumni. This week you're hosting them. What's going to change over from the spec- first game, 14 to 2, to this game? Now? Yeah, now hopefully we'll play better. Um, yeah, them jumping in the whack. I've got a lot of respect for DT and, and what they do. It's a good program, it's an I 20 program. Um, so we certainly. We always want to play well uh, against those groups, and you know we've got a bunch of Metroplex kids on our team. So I think there's always going to be some some intertwined, um, I don't know, rivalry opportunities maybe with with them. So and that's good because it's it's local, and with them joining the WAC, that's going to be a good weekend where we can jump on a bus instead of flying somewhere. It's a two and a half hour trip into Arlington. So uh, no, it's going to be another opportunity for our guys to start the week on a good note tomorrow. Uh, we're going to fly out to Fresno. And, at, we'll leave here at 7 a.m. on Wednesday, so you know the next 72 hours is going to be, you know, pretty fast and furious, um, but exciting at the same time. I have a chance to go out and play Fresno at the end of the week too. So last thing for me, mm-hmm. um, whenever I was talking to Tanner and uh, Colton last week, they mm-hmm. said that they were really excited to play this Fresno State game because they're mm-hmm. such a big name. Yeah, getting to actually fly out somewhere because usually you're just you're right yeah. now you've been traveling just like Texas places, mm-hmm. you know. Getting to fly out and really just not even worry about conference play this yeah. whole week and just really get to have some fun and play 
against a really good team. Yeah. Well, sometimes in the past, like up until this year, like yesterday was the first time we've been swept here, you know, which is something we had taken a ton of pride in. We, we've referenced that once before. Um, Sometimes getting on the road and, and getting away, and it is, it's just us and the guys, and um, there's always some good stories and some good moments that happen with that. And um, We played well on the road, so uh, this week yeah, it'll be an opportunity to do that and let our guys enjoy the flight. This origin was supposed to be a home weekend. Uh, we, we, our bye weekend, a team had, had dumped us to go to, to a bigger guarantee and play Oklahoma this weekend. Um, so we had to scramble around. Fresno had an open weekend as well, so uh, this is actually the only time we're leaving the state of Texas, which is kind of weird uh, to say this year. But um, so, yeah, we'll fly out Wednesday and we'll play them Thursday, Friday, Saturday, be back on Easter Sunday. Um, what is one thing you kind of want your players to take away from like a rough weekend like you guys had this weekend? Yeah, I think it's any time baseball speeds up on you a little bit, it's usually because it's it's a, it can be a really, really complex game. And, and I think that's kind of where we were this weekend. Everybody made it a little bit more difficult than it probably should have been at times. And, you know, you, you try to start pressing a little bit when you lose a game on Tuesday, you lose a game on Wednesday. Now you feel like you've got to do a little bit more. And I don't want to say try harder, but I, we've got a really good group of guys, uh, a really good group that, that likes to work, that enjoys the process of working. Um, you want them to get rewarded for it, you know, and, and, and sometimes when you watch them press, it's hard. Uh, we all have that, that gut reaction on, on wanting to do better, and that's certainly the same vibe and feeling that they have right now too. But we'll simplify things and let them go out there and throw the ball over the white thing and um, barrel the baseball like we've done a really good job of in the past here. And uh, I have no doubt that we'll turn the corner here uh, and let them kind of get back to playing a little more free. So consistency, playing free, simplifying will probably be the message this week as we kind of get back moving forward. In terms of the pitching this weekend, I think you're up 7-2 yesterday and then yeah. fall down 11-8. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the pitching and how have you assessed your pitchers at this point in the season? Yeah, it's been a little bit inconsistent. You know, I think they did a be their starters did a better job of ours this weekend. You know, they held our offense down early. Um, they got to get out in front. It's a lot easier to pitch sometimes with a lead versus not. Shouldn't be, but it is. Um, and then, you know, once you don't get a six or seven inning start, sometimes everybody gets stretched out a little bit more. We've got some guys that are capable, um, and we've got some guys that have done a really good job. But it's just the consistency of, hey, when you're going to be utilized here, when you go in, this is kind of the expectation. This is what you do well. This is what you need to attack. Uh, sometimes it's easy to get off that and try to do a little bit too much. Or when you get brought in in a bases loaded situation, and yeah, it's not the easiest thing to do either. So um, no, I think if we could just settle. Starting pitching is a big deal. Just kind of get out there and settle. Uh, calm the water, so to speak, let our offense kind of get out in front, um, and then let our bullpen, you know, chop itself up and, and put guys in, in situations. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, I think that's our sport. It starts in, with, with starting pitching and consistency on that world, on that part. So what are you looking for from this weekend, you know, having that time off from my play? What is something you're going to be looking for going into Fresno with ETA? Yeah, I, mean, I think just go up there and play our, our brand of baseball, you know, which is pound the strike zone, hunt pitches, get on time, um, just really get back to They've got two really good left-handers. They've, they've got an All-American on their staff, so we'll be challenged early in the weekend, which will be a good challenge, you know, I think, as you go through it. So, um, no, I, I mean, I, th I think it's really just get back to, to who we are more than who we're playing. Because uh, I think when we are who we are, track record says we win a bunch of ball games. I think this week, um, yeah, if you were a fan coming to watch us play this week, you were probably a little disappointed and frustrated, just, just like we all were. But new week, we'll see if we can get back rolling again. And like I said, I, don't, I, I like our guys, and uh, they're going to fight through it and work through it. And, um, you know, hopefully at the end, this, the end of the journey, uh, there, there's going to be a, a reward for them for it.